What's up, motor buddies? Mike here from Taco Moto Co. We're uh, at a stream crossing outside of Silverton, Colorado, and this stream right here caught our rider's wheel wrong, went in, pulled some water into the intake, and so we need to clear that water out. So he's doing a great job. A little bit of dirt in there, we need to blow that out. You can also take and put water in your mouth, another option to get that clean. Put some water in your mouth and then shoot that in there. That bleed hole right there is what will drain that out, and that looks really good. That's pretty good. So we've got our Motion Pro socket. We're gonna pull that out. Now the thing we're gonna do here is hit the starter button and shoot that water out of the cylinder. The cylinder for this bike is hydro-locked. It will not turn. And when that happens and you notice that the motor doesn't turn over and the starter's locked, don't keep holding the button. It's, it's hydro-locked and that spark plug has to come out. That's on this guy. Long. Clearly, see it's wet water. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the starter button here, and water's gonna shoot out. Lots of water in there. So that needs to be completely dried out. And a reminder, now doing that crank, you might you might wear the, a battery down. And so we happen to have a uh, little jumper box. Yeah. So yeah, so oh, when yeah. we get into the backwoods, when you ride into the backwoods and there's streams and things like this, these are stuff you need to be prepared with uh, for these types of situations. Okay, so after we've got the water out, put the spark plug back in, tank is on. We're gonna give it a test here. Okay, it starts right back up. That's good, so if you get all that water out, you shouldn't have any issue getting it restarted. Let the spark plug dry out. You can even leave that hole open. And sometimes if I have some fuel line, I'll blow air down into there as well to help it out. But to leave that plug out for 10 or 15 minutes, the air filter obviously needs to dry out, so we left that in the sun. So this bike's now good to go and ready to go. Um, in an extreme situation, you might have water in the exhaust. We didn't have that. It fell over on the left side, but if you had water in the muffler, it's gonna steam, so what will happen there, you'd have water would shoot out the tailpipe, and then water's gonna saturate into the fiberglass of the muffler, and so it, as it gets hot, it will steam. The steam can close off, not close off, but it can present back pressure, extreme back pressure, to the exhaust trying to get out, and so that could make the bike run poorly for the first little bit, so you wouldn't be, it wouldn't be all that shocking and surprising if for the first, uh, you know, until that water steamed off 10 minutes or so for it to run a little bit weird, a little bit off, once that steam has all dissipated and the water's all dissipated, it'll go back to normal. So um, this was a really easy one, not that big of a deal. Easy to fix, it wasn't too bad. So that's a situation you may wanna practice out in your garage. You don't necessarily need to pour water into the intake, but you should be aware of how to pull your tank, how to pull the plug, uh, all those procedures so that you could rescue a bike in a situation like this. So we're good to go. We're gonna head back out on the trail and head back to Silverton, have some dinner and hopefully get out of this storm if it seems to be chasing us. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, rock, get some adventure.